My name is TJ Lindsay. I'm from Utah, the United States, and I'm here in Cajareagua, Lima, Peru. I come here to teach the Bible to this community, primarily with the children. Three days a week I come and I teach them verse by verse through the Bible. I teach them about who Jesus Christ is and what he has done to save sinners. I grew up in a suburb of Salt Lake City, Utah. I grew up in a religion and then fell away from that religion into drugs and drinking and partying. I wasted my life. I wasted my life on selfish acts. And God in his grace saved me when I was 29 years old. After becoming a Christian, after God saved me by his sovereign grace, he sent me here to Peru to work with these people in this community. Right now we have a group here from Tennessee, a group from the Way of Baptist Church in Clarksville. They've been here for almost a week and by the time they leave, they'll, they will have been here for six days. We have been visiting these families of this small hillside community outside of Lima, Peru to share with them in their homes about Jesus Christ and Him crucified and risen from the dead. This is the first group that we have had come work with us here in Cajareagua. We are looking for more churches to partner with us and come down here and share Christ and Him crucified with, this pe with the people of this small community. Our plan is, Lord willing, to come back uh, periodically, uh, you know, several times a year, uh, to really just help this uh, this ministry. Uh, this is uh, nothing more important than teaching our children uh, about Christ, and uh, this is a very impoverished neighborhood with a lot of people who, uh, frankly, do not have hope. And so we really want to be the ones to introduce them to the life giver, Jesus Christ, and uh, and that is what T.J. Lindsay is doing here every single day with these young. Uh, sure. um, their reactions, I think, is like my favorite part. The reactions for everything, because they're like always really happy to like see us. They're happy when we give them stuff. They're happy when we do whatever, like anything that we do that involves them. They like get really happy, and that like that's really cool. I think. Also, I see how they're growing, with just in size, but also in how they're looking more for God, and how they're knowing more about God. And it's just been an amazing experience. Uh, we've been able to do home visitations and get to know people in their houses. Uh, we've gotten to interact with the kids, teach them Bible lessons, and uh, just be an encouragement to TJ and everybody else here. I think one of the highlights for me has been sitting down with everybody in their homes, getting to know the parents of the kids, and uh, getting to know their home life, and really, again, appreciating what we have uh, back home, not only physically, materially, but also with uh, the gospel um, and, and how much knowledge we have access to and, and the great need that there is for other people to, uh, to come to know what we have. Muy grato saber que Dios está haciendo algo muy grande en este lugar, acá en San Juan del Urigancho, en Caja de Agua específicamente. Y de verdad, yo les invito a que puedan orar por este lugar, a que puedan orar por los niños, a que puedan orar por el vecindario y por todo lo que está haciendo Dios acá. The community where we work is very poor. These people are very impoverished. So we offer a sponsorship program for the children that come to the ministry every day to learn about Jesus. The sponsorship program costs the sponsor $25 with 100% of that money going to buy the child the things that they need. I, let me say that again. 100% of the money that you give to sponsor a child goes to that child. We buy that child the food, clothing, and medicine that, that they need and their family need to survive. Your sponsorship of a child not only changes the child's life, but changes the lives of every member of their family. 